Ghana, October 2023. The overflowing of the Akasambo and Kpong dams on the Volta River left more than 500 Ghanaian households inundated by raging waters, authorities said. The flooding was caused by a controlled release of water at the dams by the Volta River Authority VRA, that began in September and intensified on 9 October. The dam releases, the VRA said, were necessary because of rising water levels at the dams as a result of persistent rains. As the VRA noted, authorities advised the public to move to higher ground even before the dam spillage work began. The spill affected nearly all communities in the lower Volta Basin, causing widespread power cuts in affected households and reportedly forcing more than 4,000 residents in southeastern Ghana to flee their homes. The situation is ongoing, and efforts are being made to provide assistance and support to those affected by the flooding. The government and relevant authorities are working to address the immediate needs of the displaced residents and assess the extent of the damage caused by the flooding. As the situation develops, it is crucial to prioritize the safety and well-being of the affected individuals and communities. The government will continue to monitor the situation closely and provide necessary support to those in need. The flooding has also forced the shutdown of the Ghana Grid Company, Gridco, substation in Sagakope in southeastern Ghana. Gridco has undertaken this shutdown at the substation for safety reasons to mitigate the risk of electrocution, loss of life, and related dangers. Power will be restored as soon as the situation improves, the statement read. The United Nations Affiliated Global Disaster Alert and Coordination System reported seven injuries in the disaster. Local media added that a Chinese national died after being swept away by the water while he was believed to be fishing. Moreover, the spillage of the Akasambo Dam has reportedly had a devastating effect on the Aquaculture Research and Development Center, ARDEC, which has been in operation for more than 30 years on the Volta Lake. Ardec was established for research and breeding fish strains and has played a vital role in enhancing fish breeding in Ghana and the wider West African region. The VRA and National Disaster Management Organization provide humanitarian support to the flood victims, which has already provided 1,000 bags of rice, vegetable oil, blankets, tents, clothes, and other relief items. Following the recent flooding of some communities due to the spillage of the Akasambo Dam, the president, Nana Otto Donkwa Akufo Otto, has set up an interministerial committee to coordinate the government's response to the victims. As announced by the Ministry of Information in a statement, the committee headed by the Chief of Staff, Akasua Frima Oseo Pare, the committee will consist of various ministries and government entities to address the impact of the flooding. The composition of the committee is as follows, Chief of Staff, Chairperson, Ministers for National Security, Interior, Defense, Sanitation, Energy, and Finance, Lands, and Natural Resources The committee will also have the Ministers for Local Government, Works, and Housing, Roads and Highways, Environment and Information. The committee is expected to work collaboratively to assess the situation, identify the most pressing needs, and implement measures to mitigate the impact of the flooding on affected residents. The Volta River Authority VRA, initiated its controlled spillage of the Akasambo and Pong dams on September 15, 2023, due to the consistent rise in water level upstream of the Akasambo Dam primarily caused by rainfall. Since the spillage exercise began, some communities downstream of the Volta River have been submerged due to the excessive water from the dam. Residents in these areas have been left stranded as their homes have been submerged by the flood as a result of the spillage. Former President and NDC 2024 flag bearer, John Mahama, has called on the Volta River Authority VRA, to hasten efforts to support residents and communities along the Volta River affected by the spillage from the Akasambo Dam. 
Flooding due to the spillage has forced many communities in the north, south, and central Tung districts of the Volta region to evacuate, leaving them with no choice but to try and save what's left of their belongings. On Friday, Mr. Mahama visited parts of Sagakope and Sokpo to assess the impact of the spillage and to meet with affected communities and facilities. The situation was dire, with the Komoni hospital staff having to evacuate their quarters and seek shelter under a pavilion. Patients have also been discharged, with only 10 in critical condition remaining. If the water levels do not recede soon, they, too, may have to be discharged. It's heartbreaking that we may have to let go of these patients, a nurse said. But if things don't get better, we won't have any other choice. The former president urged the VRA to quickly deliver the promised relief efforts to the affected communities after his visit and interaction with residents, management, and staff of the Komoni Hospital. In his words, this is about people's lives. I will thank the VRA and appeal to them to expedite their efforts because the people are in need. We must help them to cope with the situation. He expressed his disappointment that the National Disaster Management Organization, NADMO, has been unable to assist the affected communities due to a lack of relief items. He also noted that the spillage was caused by large inflows from above the dam due to heavy rains in the northern parts of the country but advised the VRA to consider desilting the river. If you don't spill, it is possible that the dam can give way, and that will be more catastrophic, especially down the southern Volta. But we must dredge so that the extra volumes of water can flow faster. For example, under the Volta bridge is silted. If it is desilted, the water will flow away faster. To emphasize the urgency of relief efforts and the impact of the situation on people, Mr. Mahama spoke about the possibility of the hospital asking families to collect the 300 dead bodies from the mortuary and find other places to accommodate them. We need the government to take this seriously, a community leader told Mr. Mahama. The lives of our people are at stake and their well-being should be a top priority. Mr. Mahama explained that the dam was receiving water more than what it usually receives due to the heavy rains. In order to protect the dam, he said authorities needed to spill because if they didn't, the dam would have given way. If the dam gives way, it would be more catastrophic, he said after touring communities affected by the flood caused by the Akasambo Dam spillage and interacting with officials and engineers of the Volta River Authority VRA, on Friday, October 13. He further stated that this is not the first time the VRA is spilling water from the Akasambo Dam however this is a bit heavier than the previous ones. Communities including Mape and Batter in the North Tung constituency have been severely hit by the flood occasioned by the spillage. The presidential candidate of the National Democratic Congress, NDC, told journalists the main problem is from above the dam, it is receiving more inflows than it normally receives. When that happens you have to protect the dam because if you don't spill then it is possible that the dam can give way and if it gives way it will be more catastrophic all the way down the southern Volta. This is not the first time VRA is spilling at a Kasambo but this seems to be a bit heavier than normal. But it is also good to dredge because if you dredge the extra volumes of water are able to move faster. For instance, you can see under the bridge that several parts are silted. If all those parts had been cleared it would be easier for the water to flow through so that it doesn't back up to people's houses. This happens once in a while, it doesn't happen every year. It is just because of climate change because normally the rainfall in the north would have started subsiding but unfortunately, when I was in the north last week it was raining heavily and so it is unusual weather, it is part of what is happening with the whole chain of climate and so we just have to see how to adapt. The three most affected constituencies are North, Central, and South Tung. I think the number of people who have been displaced especially when we went to the hospital we saw that medical personnel have all been evacuated from their quarters and they are seeking shelter in a pavilion in the hospital so they actually need support. Our understanding is that the water is not going to rise any further, 
From what we hear from the VRA engineer but it will take time to get better because it takes time for the water to recede for the place to become dry again, he told journalists. He further urged the Volta River Authority, VRA, to expedite the dispatch of the relief items that it promised to give to the victims of the flood. He said the people really need help but unfortunately, my understanding is that NADMO has nothing, happily, VRA said they are going to support them with some relief items. So I will thank VRA and appeal to them that the people are in need and so whatever relief they want to give them they should expedite it so that they can assist people with the current situation. Spillage of water from the Akasambo Dam is expected to continue until the excess inflows in the lake recede, according to the Volta River Authority, VRA. The Chief Executive Officer, CEO, of the VRA, Mr. Emmanuel Antwi Darkwa said that the lake is currently experiencing inflows more than expected hence the spillage is going to continue. We are on phase 2, of the spillage, right now and it is a cycle. It is normal at this time of the year for us to experience inflows. The difference is that we are getting more than expected and to safeguard this dam means that we have to spill water. That is the standard operation for any hydro dam but the inflows that we are seeing now are in excess. Definitely, as the cycle goes through this will recede so we are hoping it will recede in the next time, he told journalists on Thursday October 12th. The spilling may continue even though we are anticipating that the levels may drop down to phase 1, which was started on September 15th but of course, we did not have much excess as we are seeing now. This is an emergency as we have seen from the beginning. Whether dredging or no dredging it is an emergency. The volume of water that is coming into the lake right now which we have to throw out, it means that we need to evacuate people from wherever they are to ensure they are safe until the inflows recede, he added. The VRA was accused of neglecting its responsibilities in the lower Volta Basin hence the huge impact of flood caused by spillage from the Akasambo and Pong dams on communities. We are on our church compound and the whole place is flooded. Even you see, people are using a uh, canoe. Because uh, the water is flowing downwards, towards the dam.